feathers are in me. Look what I have in my hand. This is a tat, jewelry tat. Remember the article I did on Fervous Turn? I'm um, sorry, Fabulous or Curvy. Ignore my fingernails. I have to do them today. I haven't done them yet. But anyway, <clears throat> here's an entire sheet. Now, on Friday night, I sent out an impromptu invitation to a little 30 minute um, happening online with um, Google, Google Hangout. Um, I actually rescinded that invite because I realized that it was impromptu and I really should have really notified everyone. And so I rescinded that. And in it, I actually talked about what I'm going to do with these, but I'm not going to tell you in this sitting. I want you to stay tuned for the articles that I'm going to, the upcoming article follow-up that I'm going to do with this. I am probably going to post this video maybe tonight because I did another one that YouTube for some reason is not posting my stuff right away. I have no idea what's going on. But I wanted to show this to you because I'm going to put it on right now. And yes, remember when we when I wrote about it? Well, I found some. My hand, my wrist is clean because I'm going to put it around my wrist. This one is uh, silver circles. And the reason why I'm wetting this again because I'm going to have to use it so I'm gonna, I took the plastic off already. I cut the desired shape that I wanted. I cut it out according to the second line, which is this. And then I took the plastic off. I peeled it off. That's done. My hand, my wrist is clean. I'm going to put it around my wrist. Cause that's where I want it as a bracelet. And I'm gonna be sure, ooh, probably going to go longer so what I'm going to do is cut a little piece off just the second dot I'm going to cut it oops I'm probably going to have to trim it down I'm going to have to trim it down so that means that when you actually do use this you have it you have to trim it to your desired wrist length or neck length so I made it a little shorter now I'm going to put it around my wrist like that like so and I'm gonna leave it make sure it's at the position that I want which is this then I'm gonna get the wet towel I wonder if it's wet enough let me do it I'm gonna soak it somewhere because you either can use paper towel towel or sponge and so I'm gonna use a wet rag and here's my wrist and I'm gonna put the wet rag on it and while that is happening, I'm going to talk to you about something else. Now, in the previous video that I'm going to post before this one, because YouTube is taking forever, I am going to show you what my hair looks like. There it is. This is my curly look. And I told you in the previous video how I achieved this look. One of the things that I want to tell you this time is <clears throat> now it's absolutely super curly in the back. It's super curly in the front and everywhere. So now I have a very, very curly look, which I really love. But because I like a lot of texture in my hair, in the previous video, I showed you how the back of it wasn't that curly, but I made it super curly now because I did it smaller everywhere. Now, if you can see, there's some strings and some uneven pieces in my hair. One of the things that a lot of us don't like to do is we don't like to trim or cut our hair. I'm there with you. I totally understand why you don't like to do that. Because you go to the hairdresser to get a little trim, and what do they do? They bloody well cut your hair totally off and then give you a whacked up job. <laughs> okay, let me not say that generally. Not all hairdressers do that. Not all stylists do that. Hairstylists do that. You have some fabulous stylists out there, but there are just some of them who don't listen. And I have experienced that myself and so if you can find one of my articles on my me and my fro tab and the tab is not there but one of my hair articles for me and my fro when i first had my big chop the hairdresser totally messed up my look and i had to actually trim it down to the way i liked it but anyway um so that's what i'm talking about with some hairdressers but if you can see the tr the ends of my hair i actually 
even up this already the front but I realized the one thing that you can do to fix your look if it looks too frizzy number one is you can add more moisture you can either do more conditioner do more of the um, flaxseed gel just enough to damp your hand and um, just juice your hair a little bit and or stretch it out some more so the curls are not that curly in the front or the back however you want to style it you can do it but another thing that I would like to say for you to do is it's good to get a trim every six weeks and the reason why you're going to do that is because it allows your dead hands to, to go away and you won't have the string wing stringed like that so what I usually do is I would usually trim just the very end this is personally what I do you don't have to do it my way you can do it the best way for you you can either go to a salon or you can shampoo your hair and comb it and do it evenly but for me, a quick fix, this is just a quick fix. What I would normally do, and I'm gonna look in the bigger mirror, not just the camera. What I would normally do is just grab the ends at the very end, and you do this, this is how you do it. See the dead ends at the end, right there? You see that little piece? I'm going to trim it like so. And that way I don't really tr trim off too much of my hair. And I get it even and so it ends up not being too stringy so there's still a little bit right here so I'm gonna just do this there see that's how I would clean it up and I just wanted to show you that if you end up styling your hair and you have curls that looks a little bit not um, crazy to you or too much all you have to do is just it with some more moisturizer or just lightly comb your finger through it to make it neater or trim the ends if there are any dead ends or stringy stringly ends on it so that's a little way of another way you can clean it up now I think we're ready let's see if this worked I'm gonna take this <gasps> oh look now one what, what did I do I shifted the thing so of course the um, design shifted. It looks like it did it though. I'm gonna take it off. <gasps> the big reveal. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God. Look at my jewelry tattoo. Wow. I am psyched. I am loving it. What do you think? Do I look good with that? Can you imagine having this around your neck? Or a little one on your ear or more of it going down the you know the front of your palm uh, on your hand I mean the back of your hand can you imagine what that looks like if you have on this gorgeous style dress and you just put your tats right there look at this just look at that I love it oh so mine actually I could have left another of the dots on and it's not very even but you know what I think it works look at that and I can move my hand back and forth oops <laughs> I think I just showed you my toes hanging there but anyway um there it is wow I actually love it not too bad huh so with the two that I cut off I'm gonna put you down just for a minute right there with the two little dots that I cut off right there if I wanted to, I could do little earrings, and if I wanted to, I can also just do a little design on top on my finger, maybe. Maybe on my finger as a ring. Let's see if I can do it on my finger. I'm going to do it on the middle finger, and I'm going to do the rag again. Okay, let's hold it there for a few seconds. I actually dropped water on the thing. <laughs> So I'm going to hold it for just a minute. Let me put you like this so you can see me better. Because I'm not re-recording. I'm actually up to 9 minutes. Oops. I'm going to try to keep this at 10. Just for a second. Okay. Let's see if I can take it off now. Oh. So what, what happens is it slides itself off once it's done. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? And because I did it like a ring, can you imagine once my nails are done what this is going to look like? I am definitely going to um, 
do a um, picture taking of my bracelet and my ring. <gasps> I love it. So guess what? I am going to let one of you guys win a set of these. I have an entire set, brand new that I have not open yet and my plan is to give it away in a raffle and I'm going to write my um, first article and post it tomorrow and you're going to listen out and, and look out and read for what you need to do in order to win this along with other things. Now it's 10, 38, 39 so I'm going to go and my toilet is going because in this old house things just go off when it's ready. Anyway, tune into the blog at fabulousacurvy.com don't forget to catch up with us on our fan page on Fabulous Curvy blog and Facebook. And I'll see you next time. Do you like the hair? Do drop me a line and let me know. I'm going to try to post the other video first before I post this one. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. Take care. Bye.